hands in the air, in the air. Put your, put your hands in the air. Oh, nana. Ooh, packs again. What's up, guys? Today I got a video for you that I haven't made in a while. I want to talk about relationships. All right, I haven't talked about relationships in a long, long time. But today I want to get, dive into it because it's something that really is valuable since I've gotten, especially like another 800, 900 subscribers since I've even been on the topic. So I want to dive into relationships. There's something specific I want to talk about. I want to talk about when you're actually in a relationship, how to make it better, how to make it thrive. Um, and I, I found the best way to do this, and I know it's simple, and I'm going to just say it out front, laughing. Laughing, smiling, good energy. You put this in a relationship, it goes a long way. I remember when I was in Home Depot, all right? This was a few years ago. And it really occurred to me, especially during my conscious awakening, like my deepest conscious awakening, like when I had my third eye open and stuff, I realized that the happiest people and the best people to talk to and people that make you feel better are ones who smile. There are people that, you know, you could be like, hey, Ben, uh, what, what's up, man? I haven't seen you in a while. You know, you're at the workplace. And Ben would be like, huh? Hey man, uh, yeah, talk to me later, the supervisor's watching, or whatever, right? Ben's obviously artificial, I don't know who Ben is, I just made up a character. And I can go to John, and look at John, and John, what's up man? John looks back to you with a big smile and being like, hey, what's up Steve? What's up? I haven't seen you in a while. How you doing? You know, that smile and that energy makes life better for everyone. That automatically instigates a good relationship. Now, if you're like me in the past, where it's like, hey, how's it going? And I put on a quick fake smile, especially like in the morning time, right? You wake up, you go to work at four, three o'clock in the morning, I used to wake up, get there by 4.30 or so, and you finally get there and you're about to clock in and people are like, hey, how's it going? And I'm like, hey, what's up? You know, you're sleepy, uh. Uh, um, dog to me after the coffee. You know, if you're going to be that guy, which is understandable, because I'm not a morning person, right? I don't even go out on my morning bike ride until, like, the afternoon. Like, it takes a while for me to wake up. So I understand that I used to be that guy that was not the morning person. But just a quick, simple smile, hey, it's going to be a good day, changes everything. Not only with my day, but to help others have a good day. And... When other people look at you, like you have positive energy, you're a good person, you have good vibes, this creates an instigation for a good relationship, right? Like, uh, there's people that I realized that when I looked at them and I just smiled and I'm like, yeah, it's you, and you know, I like you, and I got that smile, they retrieve that smile, and then they make it their own, and then they smile, and they enjoy it, and they have a good time. Ah, fuck, my roommate's home, so this might be ended short. But uh, I realized that when you're smiling and you're having a good time, that it's going to inf infect other people with your good time. It's almost like yawning. You ever yawn and then next person yawns next to you? Oh, why'd you make me yawn? Same goes with smiling, especially laughter. You don't have to be humorous to laugh, right? Like... We always think that, oh, you got to go to a comedy store, you got to see something on the, in the movies, or you got to have the funny friend to make you laugh. No, just be with each other and laugh. You create that, that becomes a part of you, and then everything around you is going to be happier, less stress. And this is going to affect all your relationships from your children, right? You want your children to be happy and smiling, right? Hey, you go, pal, let's go do this, yeah! Like Kind of like what you do with your dog. Right? Like, hey, let's go to the park. And the dog's like amped up. Right? You're giving that person or dog or whatever energy. And that energy is the opposite of what a lot of people are doing now. Which a lot of people I'm seeing are becoming energy vampires. They siphon the energy out of people. And I don't like that. Alright guys, I'm back. Don't disregard the first part of this video. I don't know where I left off, but my roommate came home and basically I went on a bike ride, which I do every late morning to early afternoon, which is perfect timing for me. It's when the sun's in the air, get the most sun, which for some reason I'm out every single day and I don't get much sun, or at least much color. Anyways, diving back into the video. So don't disregard what I was talking about. I'm just gonna make this a collage thing, I guess. 
because I don't want to repeat everything. I hate repeating videos because of a mistake or anything like that. Anyways, I can talk all day about the pros and how in the different types of scenarios that are positive when laughing and, and smiling and having good energy with employees or uh, your your family, your kids, whoever, right? Laughing and smiling is the best thing you can do. It's it's a great way to get attention. It's a great way to show that you're friendly. It's a great way to show that you're definitely somebody that people want to be around and want to stick up for and do extra for. It's just that simple task of smiling and laughing. Specifically laughing especially. that If you can get to that stage with someone, you're in a good stage. I mean, that's friend for life or whatever, right? So... Instead of continually talking about the pros about that, let's talk about how do you get there? How do you get to just smile and laugh? Now, like I said before, you know, going to work and, you know, you got to kind of force a smile and, and kind of be like, hey, how's it going, Fred? You know, and then be like uh, acting like you have all this energy, but you know you really don't. Well, how do you get that energy and how do you keep it all day? Well, that's going to be rather important. Now, the reason why it's important is because you're faking it otherwise, right? Unless you're genuinely happy to see people. But even if you're not genuinely happy to see people, putting on that smile changes something. Now, it's very simple to say, and I believe in it as well, but it's simple to say that you can just, on a drop of a hat, boom, you can just uh, change your emotions and feelings. But it's that simple. It's that real. You can simply just put on a smile, and it'll change your day in somebody else's. Um, you go into a, a grocery store, let's even say the gas station. And I've made this reference a million times on my videos, but I've got new subscribers. So think of it like this. You have two gas station attendants. One, the first one, is uh, simply depressed, sad, doesn't want to talk to you, right? And uh, just wants to, hey, how can I help you? You know, kind of like a, a sterile face, kind of just like plain and blank, just not happy to be there, right? Well, you don't want to go to that person again, not because they did something wrong, but because they didn't have that smile and they don't, didn't have that energy. I remember when I was a gas station attendant, which I was for a couple gas stations for multiple years, back in my young, young 20s. Um... Yeah, I, I was that guy that was very energetic. Everyone loved me, um, and I just was that guy. I, I had everyone's attention. It didn't matter if you were uh, some hillbilly out of town that came in or if you were someone from the ghetto that came in or if you were a local. It, it didn't matter what the case was. Everyone enjoyed talking to me, for the most part. I mean, there are people that are just miserable, and there's no changing that, right? And they want to be energy vampires. But for the most part, I was able to have everyone like me and make me, I turn myself into being likable. It's not me normal. It's not me just being me. You know, I might not even have the best personality in the world, which I know I don't. You know, it's just that idea of just trying to smile and make sure that you're giving some sort of effort or you may be genuinely happy to see someone. You know, or you could have a great personality and you, you could be humorous or whatever it takes. But these qualities of being humorous, funny, uh, genuine, smiling, laughing, having positive upbringing uh, or uplifting uh, smiles or whatever, right? This truly helps people with their day and it helps people like you. And I think that's rather important because, you know, it goes back to the old thing, like, uh, would you rather be loved or feared, right? I'd rather be loved. I think most people rather be loved, right? It's very few people that are like, oh, I want people to fear me. It's a very, very small spectrum, and there's no place for it in 2018. Um, but if you want to be loved, happy, uplifting, uh, be inclusive with others, right? So if you're at the gas station and you know, the gas station attendant is being miserable, kind of, you know, put a smile on, hey, how's it going? Yeah, and then try to say something or do something that uh, might brighten their day. I mean, it's small and there's a lot of people and a lot of people are like, no, you don't have to do that. 
But that's one way you can generally uplift yourself. And if you're happy, you're going to be contagious. That, that vibration is going to be contagious to others on that wavelength. Also, one important thing, get enough sleep. You're not going to maintain that throughout the day without enough sleep. I mean, like I said, I'm not a morning person. I can get a full night of sleep and still go to work the next day and not really be enthused about being there or not really enjoy um, just being there and having to wake up and having to do this for this shitty wage, right? You know, it, it kind of sucks that way, but you also got to realize that enough sleep is the key because if you don't get enough sleep you're a z you're a zombie you're just faking a smile throughout the day not really enjoying your day and actually it's really detrimental to your health it adds stress uh raises your blood pressure and it's just all altogether not healthy you need sleep next thing you truly need to eat better they say you are what you eat right and if you are what you eat wouldn't you want to eat something healthy something with energy Something with a good vibration. Something that's going to give you just good nutrients, right? Bananas, broccoli. You know, I eat some broccoli. I feel like running a marathon after eating broccoli. My stomach feels good. I feel like I'm losing weight. If I eat McDonald's and I just had two double cheeseburgers or Big Mac or whatever it is that you guys eat, right? It's all shit. How do you feel afterwards? You feel like, ah, oh, that's great. I'm, I'm ready to take on my day. Nope, nope, quite the opposite. You don't get energy from that. In fact, uh, it's much tougher for your body to digest that Play-Doh-like substance, and you, it's just much uh, heavier, right? So that is what it is when it comes to that. Um, just eat healthier, you know, lighter. You're going to feel lighter, and if you feel lighter and more energy, well, how do you, how do you think you're going to act? You're going to have just much better, enjoyable times, right? So, you know, eat well, don't add too much sugar. Obviously, if you have diabetes or whatever, you're going to, you're just killing yourself. You know, it, just eat healthier. It's going to really help throughout your day. Um, you know, just add an orange to your morning. You know, that something that can, you know, give you a fiber with that sugar, which uh, fiber and that natural sugar is actually really good for you. Obviously, we don't have to talk about antioxidants and dive into everything that's good about an orange, but, you know, whatever it is, right? You know what it is. Eat real food. Um, so that's going to help you in your happiness, right? And if you're happy, it's going to bring out the happiness in everyone else around you. Now, if you're already in a relationship that's stagnant, a uh, relationship that's... Uh, now, it, it feels like you're already past the time to be happy and all that fun stuff. There's ways to go about that. Let's talk about that. Because I think that's rather important because a lot of people, even myself included, I think, in fact, everyone on earth has some sort of stagnant relationship, no matter what you did or what they did or whatever, right? You have a stagnant relationship where it's almost like, hey, how's it going? And that's it, right? It's not like a, uh, honey, I'm happy to see you. You know, 20 years marriage, and I can't believe you're still on the couch, beautiful, and, you know, no, it doesn't go like that generally, right? So how do you rev revitalize a relationship, whether you had something or not? I mean, how do you just kind of rev it up and get it back or to a spot where it's it's uh, it's good, it's, it's fulfilling? Well, there's a couple ways. A, lose your ego. You don't need your fucking ego to get in the way of... Well, this chick did this to me, so now I'm going to, you know, she ignored my text. So I'm just going to, no, 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 that's a terrible way to go through life. And I see it through these MGTOWs. Of course, I made that video on MGTOWs, which they hate. They hate that video because I kind of exposed them there. Um, but when you're just kind of like changing your lifestyle because of a couple experiences or potential experiences and you're letting your ego get in the way and you're changing your mind to conform to another belief which kind of takes you away from that other person now i've said it in many of my videos that there are ways to enhance your relationship do the laughing thing this thing is something i'd never dove into laugh with them and not just like, uh, I mean, there's many ways to laugh with people. There's 
ways that you can be totally happy with someone and being in the moment. There's ways that you can laugh from a joke. There's ways that you can laugh uh, from someone taking a spill and it's like a ha ha laugh um, rather than a <laughs> like a chuckle. Um, but there's many ways to laugh. The one way you should laugh the most, especially with spouses, is uh, an uplifting laugh. So this would be trying to get them to laugh, right? Get them uplifted. So if you put in the intention, what's going to derive from that intention is what is intended. <laughs> you know, and if it isn't what is intended, then you didn't intend it enough because the only way to counteract your intention is a um, complete 180 of your intention. That would be like, um, like I said, this in my power of intention video a couple years ago. You know, you go to a bar and if you really want that girl and you're intended to get in that girl, well, the only way to stop that is if she has more intention saying no, right? If you can be as charming as you want or whatever, if she has more intention to say no, it's going to be no. But if you have more intention of yes than her no, well, you're going to win that one. So intention plays a big role also in how you want to uplift people. Do you kind of want to be like, oh, I tried? Or do you want to give it more intention and have more motivation behind it? Because the amount of intention you have is what will happen. You know, if you have 20% intention of getting a new car next year, well, it might happen. If you have 100% of uh, intention to get a car next year, it will happen. You know, because if you're putting everything into it, you're, you're making your whole lifestyle around it, it's going to happen. Now, do this with your happiness. Do this with uplifting the ones you love. This could be your child. This could be your wife. This could be anybody, right? Whatever relationship, your coworker, whatever you want to revitalize. Now, I know it's going to be awkward smiling and laughing, but just do it. What's, what's the person going to do? Being like, why are you in such a good mood? Is that going to affect you? No, that's your ego saying that that would affect you. It wouldn't, or it shouldn't, rather. What you should do is just do what you know you need to do. I've always said this in my video. I even said this especially when I dove in deep uh, on my video, uh, get out of your comfort zone or something like that. I had a few videos about the comfort zone. But get out of that comfort zone of this is how it's been, this is how it is. You know, Do things that are better for you to enhance your uh, happiness and positivity and your motivation. Do these things because they're going to totally affect your relationships. Um, if you even seen the movie, um, ah, I don't remember the movie's name. Anyways, there's things you can do. Let's say you're in a relationship and you're both gaining weight, right? You're, you're, you're the man, you have a wife, you've been together for 10 years, uh, you've packed on about 50 pounds each throughout the 10 years you were together, all right? See this thing behind me? Now, it's not going to be like the ultimate weight loss, but it's a start. And it makes me happy. Trust me, I like this shit. When I ride my bike around here, I ride it for about five to seven miles a day, you know, just to, just to ride it and to feel good about myself. If you were the guy and she ain't willing to do anything and you're scared to ask her about, you know, exercising together or something, or even if you do bring it up and she turns you down, start doing it yourself. Because also there's the aspect of be the change that you want to see in the world. You want to see your wife to get a little uh, prettier and slim down? Do it yourself. All right? That's a key way to do it. If you're not doing anything about it, she ain't doing nothing about it. And plus, there's goes back to that Chris Rock saying. Chris Rock, I'm going to butcher it, so I'm just going to use my words on it. Uh, you know, Chris Rock is pulled over on the side of the road. He's asking everyone for help. Hey, can you help me? Can you help me? Uh, and everyone just... Passes by, passes by, passes by. Well, it wasn't until he started to try to help himself, where he's trying to work on his vehicle and, and stuff like that, and trying to figure out things, and people witness him trying to help himself. Now they stop, start stopping, if that makes sense, start stopping. So then they begin to stop and pull over and, and ask, hey, do you need any help? See, the thing in life is if you're not doing it, people don't want to do it as well. You know, people want to see you do the thing that you want to do, whether it be working out or 
help you fix your own car, right? They don't want to just go over there and be like, oh, now I got to do everything because this lazy guy ain't doing shit, right? They want, especially like in the wife-husband scenario, if the husband is working out every day and doing things and looking great and feeling good, that vibration is going to rub off. It has to rub off. Whether you have your third eye open or whether you have um, different uh, levels of understanding other people and sensing other people, it doesn't matter if you're an empath, it doesn't matter. What matters is, is that energy, that vibration, that frequency is going to reflect. And uh, just like the yawn, just like uh, your smile and, and your laugh, it's contagious. So that motivation, that drive will affect them. Whoever in your relationship, whether it's your wife, it doesn't matter, right? Coworker, it doesn't matter. They want to see you working out. So I was working at a maintenance place for an apartment complex uh maybe eight years ago. And I remember this guy, he was working out. And every time he kept saying he was working out, it made me want to work out. And uh, the only thing that was keeping me back was my ego. Because the more he worked out, the more I was behind I felt. But it, I really, really wanted to work out. So I think I started working out maybe a few months later after I knew he was working out and I saw how strong he was getting and he was pushing back the manager who was like three times his size. So I was like, oh shit, I want to do that. And uh, so it motivated me to work out, you know, and I worked out for, for a few years until I stopped. I became uh, a vegan and truck driver and I felt good and I felt great about my life. But uh, people want to see you do it, right? People want to see you make it happen. Uh, before they engage. So I just wanted to explain that to you that you want to, these are the things you got to do to revitalize your relationships. These are the things that you got to do. Uh, you need to remove your ego. That's a major thing. Remove your ego because a lot of people are like, well, this is going to make me vulnerable or seem vulnerable, smiling in public. It's kind of weird for some people, right? Catch a bad vibe. Just do it. Get out of your comfort zone. Just do it. You're going to see a change. Um, and I see people that, uh, you know, how they act around some people. Oh, God, it's my best friend. Hey, how's it going? And they're all fucking happy. And then they see another friend that they saw in high school. And they're like, hey, man, how's it going? Yeah, I haven't seen you in a while. Well, I understand that, hey, they're not in your inner circle. But, you know, you should be having some sort of respect for other people, you know, be the change that you want to see in the world, um, one person at a time, because that's all we can truly do. I mean, you know, we can be up on stage, have a good platform or whatever, but you're not changing really much. What you're doing is being the change that you want to see in the world, right? You know, if, the, if there wasn't a first crackhead, there wouldn't have been more crackheads. If there wasn't somebody that smiled, there wouldn't be other people that wanted to smile, right? It's just the change that you want to see in the world. Again, positive or negative. That's why I said crackhead. You know, because if the first person was like, hey, I got this substance that's going to totally tear you to pieces and, and change your relationships to the worst possible scenarios, uh, stealing from other people. If, if they said that, hey, this is what it is, you can be the guinea pig. You're going to be like, no, no. All right. So... Once you see another person smoking crack, you're going to be like, hmm, that's not so bad, right? Same thing goes with being happy. Now, I don't want this video to be too long. This is probably about 30 minutes, both of these parts. I just wanted to say that it's possible. It's possible to help your relationships. It's possible to become the change that you want to see in the world. It's possible that you can make other people happy. And it's possible to make yourself happy. And it's possible... That uh, life can be a lot better when you're smiling and especially laughing. And there's many ways to laugh, um, and which I explained a lot in this video. But there's many different ways. But I'm going to go back on my bike ride. And uh, I'll see you guys later. I'll see you guys next time. I'm not going to be a stranger to these YouTube videos. I'm going to make a lot more. I actually have about 10 video options that I wrote down today or in the last week or so. So there's tons of videos coming. So just stay tuned.